Cytex, a springboard into Africa, Africa's most cost-effective networking and deal-making platform. Cytex offers a haven of opportunities to both small startup businesses and also for big businesses. What it does is provide a solid platform for these businesses to interact with each other, to introduce their products and services, and also to pick up on some of the new trends in the markets. For 22 successful years, Cytex has been a wellspring of new products, latest trends, new suppliers, untapped markets, and new customers locally and from around the world. For Jiangsu Zongshan, a manufacturing company in China that produces these motor tricycles, participation at Cytex 2015 has been phenomenal. They have already engaged with a local export-import company to bring these vehicles to the southern African market, but that is only the first stage. The point of these trade deals is really also to further unlock the manufacturing potential in southern Africa. This kind of product is very useful for those people who can earn money and uh, in some uh, uh, village areas that is the you know our, our market is focusing on the uh, African countries so for South, South Africa I think it also has great opportunity as well as other parts of Africa so we come here to seek opportunity not only focusing on this this country but also the, the neighbor countries the manufacturing is the, the final step any 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 products any, any business has its process. And finally, we're going to produce some parts, the main parts, the main parts of our, our vehicle going to um, produce here. Cytex also hosted a number of free seminars by top industry experts speaking on various business topics. The aim, to attract investors and encourage manufacturing and job creation. It's very important to indicate that one of the biggest challenges that we have in our country is the growth of our economy. And we have a belief that most economies need only not to look inward but should also look outward. And hence, in that sense, the key of, for the success or the growth of the South African economy is in Africa. Economies in Africa are growing and basically then there's the serious transformation of the economies of Africa. And if really we are going to take Africa seriously, I think there's huge potential in terms of economic opportunities in Africa. For an example, Africa intends spending something like $90 billion for infrastructure development. And if, for example, South African companies can take advantage just of that, you can imagine what amount of business opportunities we can be able to tap into and that can be able to turn not only the African economies around, but also our economy. The great thing about being at Cytex 2015 is there's something for everybody. For me, it's all about chocolates. We based in Fixburg, it's more the cherry capital of the world, and we started about six years ago making chocolate. We started to go to with the DTI to quite a few export shows all over the world, mainly Asia. We service very much the hospitality industry, the niche market and the corporate industry. Also tapping a little bit into the airline industry where we'd really like to be. Satex has been very good to us. It's a, given us a platform to find the right people for our market to be sold into. Cytex has truly become one of the largest and most prominent trade exhibitions on the continent. It's getting bigger all the time and, and what's really exciting about it is that it's becoming accepted as, within Africa as a, as a trading position. Um, we've had this year a record number of visitors pre-registered before the event. Uh, we had over 4,000 visitors from 66 countries that registered before the doors even opened. And 24 of those countries were um, African. And on top of that, we've also got our cousins from the Sadak region all here exhibiting. We've got Namibia, Botswana, Lesotho, Swaziland, and it's really nice to have them because they, they can also use our um, ability to attract international visitors to, to, for their benefit. The smell of this coffee is totally out of this world. It is extraordinary. In fact, it was the smell of this coffee that lured me to the stand to find out more about how Vietnam coffee is made. In fact, Vietnam is the world's second largest producer of coffee. They are exceptional beans. 
other than most uh, African or um, South American roasters, the beans are roasted in clarified butters. It's a very slow roasting process. We haven't had a lot of interest. We have been so busy uh, at this at this stand, uh, hope, hoping to get Vietnam um, uh, good representation. Um, the, the ambassador sees us the stand right now. Um, he, he's been giving us this opportunity to represent Vietnam in South Africa. See how dark it is? It's not too strong. How strong is it? It is. It, it's totally different. You taste the nutty chocolate. And it's condensed milk. It is condensed milk. Traditionally, they put condensed milk at the bottom of their cup. How, how does it taste? For a hot summer day in South Africa. Nashina Mohammed for Joburg Today.